By the way, I'd like you to hear something now. I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, and this is a new keyboard. Yeah. Does it have a lot of feedback or something? You just like pressing the buttons? Yeah, it's got the clicky switches in it. I want a keyboard like that. Actually, what I want is an old mechanical typewriter that j I just hook up to my computer. Nice. It has, like, the cir circular keys on the, the like, uh, the like the levers. levers. Yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> and they, they swing up, and on the end of each each arm is, like, a little capacitative rubber nub, and it's actually slapping an iPhone. Yeah! Oh, no, then that's just slapping up. But it, it just has a little rubber nub, and that's the actual key. Yeah. That's like the rubber nub under the keys in here, except there's a there's a lot of machinery in between the two parts. It's like every time Dude, you press a button, awesome. there's a Rube Goldberg machine between you and the result. I wonder I wonder how difficult that would be to to implement. I don't know. Like I wouldn't be able to wire it, but if I could get somebody else to if I could get the materials and and stuff all together, if I could get somewhat an electrician or something to wire that. I bet you could just pick up like whatever the end of the mechanical linkage is just to be an electrical contact instead. And then when it makes contact it's good to go. Well the whole thing is I would have to buy an old typewriter and somehow convert what it does into what I need it to do. That's a pretty succinct description of the problem. It's like, uh, what's his name's definition of, of design? It's a practice of transforming actual situations into preferred ones. Nice. It's like, yeah, that, that's, that's basically it, I guess. That's kind of what everything a, is, right? I want to be at B. X is the process of getting from A to B. Well, great. You can cut, you can kind of describe navigation that way, too, I guess. Yeah. You can, in fact, you can describe basically any activity. Eating is a way to get from, get from a desire. What about What about shotgunning Miller Lite? Can you describe that? <laughs> that's the opposite. That, <laughs> that's where you go from a state that you prefer to a state that you hate. Miller Lite is turning back time. It's sending All us right. to the Stone Age. I found the loophole. Now yeah, that we found the everything. loophole, yeah, let's, play video let's get this party started. You need to include our, our whole conversation since we pulled up this interface <laughs> in the in the video. Well, stop talking about it and I'll think about it. Let's go. Uh, oh yeah, this is what I have to do. For once, we didn't say the N-word or something horribly offensive about Jewish people during the pre-show segment. It doesn't work when you tell people we just <laughs> did it. <laughs> Oh, oh I remember. We had a ghost. Speaking of, speaking of whether ghosts would be able to possess robots or not, or whether robotic George Washington or regular George Washington would have the advantage, where are we and what are we doing in Earthbound? Uh, uh. Um, we are failing to drink from that fountain, for one thing. Hmm. Uh, we need to go back to the Tenda Village and... Because we've apparently missed something. Oh, crap. Ugh. We have... We have a couple of soundstones that we think we ought to have and... Look, man. Have I don't want any trouble. Significantly fewer of than... Uh, oh! There is a quantity of soundstones. And we don't have them. And that quantity is equal to the number of whatever. Yeah. Yeah, what? Well, at least he... Oh, he didn't even, He hurt the tiny little ghost without killing it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
but this is episode 40. Is it? Oh my god! Yes. It's our... It's our 40th anniversary. I feel so old and fat. This battle you're, with this thing is going extremely poorly. You're prettier than the day I met you. Gross. The day I met you, was actually, you actually looked pretty awful, so... Oh, yeah. I guess I was on fire for most of that day. <laughs> I mean, you were... You were all oily, your face was covered in zits. You know? <laughs> oh, high school. Yeah. High school, you are gross. Ugh, I hate how I'm slowly moving this universe. Or this area of the game. Also, it makes, like, it makes all the edges of everything indistinct, so I can't tell what, like, when I can move past things. What? What's going on with this cave? It's a clever little device that, like most things in this game, just took a little too long. Yeah, just wore out its welcome uh, instantly. You well, have to get your, your swirly cone eraser. <laughs> My elongated poop eraser. I use it daily. I can't remember how to get to the Tenda Village, but I feel like it was in your upper right. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like in the... Yeah. I think we're on the right track right now. Yep. Hey, guys. What is cracking? Can you go in... Uh, does... Does... Face in the rock... Uh, the rock that looks like a face have any powers or anything? I can't... We've seen that before. Yeah, we had to talk to them. Hey, man. Yeah, that's true. Yep. What's up? Alright, sounds good. Yep. Oh, I sweet. I got my pen out. I'm the chosen huh. one. Okay, I... I am... I think we already wrote all this down. Yeah. Didn't you take... You... You bastard. I you pull out those notes right now. And you show me that you took notes. Dude, I lost that notebook. This is no joke. I took it to work one day, and I just don't have it anymore. Look, you can eat my ass. Now, if I were your, like, third grade English teacher, I would never let that slide. You get an F in... in personal dignity. Shit. I feel like there was a sparkly thing we sh Giant step. Lilliput Lilli step. Okay, here oh, we go. Yeah, he's gonna got, land on us. We got that. Gross. Got that. Got that. No, we don't have that. Wait. Magnet Hill? Yep. We missed Magnet Hill, and Foreside, and the other one. And the next, yeah. yeah pink, cl pink cloud. Pink. Yeah. Okay. So now we need, now we know where where we need to go. To Foreside. Yeah. Keeps fucking can it weird talking rock. Fucking jive ass rock. Ring ring ring. What's up, bombs? Who, who was Carl? Uh, our dog. Oh. <laughs> the dog never even played a part in yeah, this. We just named him and then he went peaced out. All right, the entire nice. interaction with the dog was to name him. Look. Uh, on looking at that, I think you still need the same amount of screen... Yeah. ...space to do it, even though you were significantly smaller. Ugh, that's... Ugh. I think you can make it if you get down at the bottom there, by those... ...those rocks, and then... Or we just do some up. shit. Oh. Yeah, you made it. Yeah. Put my secret sauce on you. Like a champion. Lars, you're huge. <laughs> eh? Lars, how'd you get so fat? Eh? Whoop. <laughs> 
Sorry, what? Some hit, man. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Great. Magnets. What, what around here would be re relevant to magnets? Dinosaur bones, duh. Wasn't, wasn't one of the enemies in Moonside a magnet? Probably. Fuck Moonside. Yeah, fuck Moonside. <laughs> I'm glad we're all agreed. Well, forget about it, Lars. It's Moonside. <laughs> it's just Moonside, Jack. Her autograph on an eraser? So sounds great, man. Hmm. That's an interesting notion. That sounds like something that you that that could be the the answer to a riddle, like writing on with a pencil on an eraser. Yeah, it sounds great. Are there buddy. any are there any sphinxes around here that you could consult on this question? We went to Scaraba one time. Ugh. Yes. Let's go. No. Oh. No. Ah. Great. Now I have two of these fucking tickets. <sighs> scalp the other one. I'll just use to scalp this asshole who wants my ticket. <laughs> Did you ever watch that show, uh, The Adventures of Pete and Pete? Yes. That show. Or one incredible. of the like, one of the like bad guy characters, uh, his, like, power was to make things out of paper, <laughs> and, and he would, like, he would, like, give them paper cuts. No, I don't remember that. I do remember there was a bully called Pit Stains or something. Yeah, that's a different one, though. This, this was, uh... Another kid in their, like, school or whatever, but his, uh, his, like, thing was, was make, he would, like, make knives and stuff out of paper, and then he'd, like, stab you with it and would give you, like, a small paper cut. <laughs> Who's the, uh, like, the world's strongest man in that? Artie, I think was his name? I don't remember that either. He was, like, he was Pete's, I he was y Pete, y Pete the Lesser's hero. I remember that there was a whole thing about, uh, he idolized the inspector of his underwear. <laughs> I remember there was an episode in which, uh, Pete is trapped in his, like, the, Pete the Younger is trapped in his basement, grounded to the basement by his dad, and he, like, digs his way out with a little Statue of Liberty. <laughs> I should, uh, I should by some means acquire the episodes of that show and watch it. By some means. I'm not going to go into the means. Yeah, don't talk yeah. about it. <laughs> means torrent. <laughs> I'll go into the means emporium. Great. Hey, try it yourself. This jackass gave us access to yet another... There's oh. just a manhole in the center of this room. <laughs> There's sewer access in the middle of this <laughs> odd room. Yeah. A stinky ghost and a deadly mouse. I'm gonna beat them all. Well, <laughs> focus on the deadly mouse, I should think. Nope. I mean, a stinky ghost is one thing, but that oh, mouse savaging this ass smelling ghost. Fuck you up! Oh great, Rufio's poisoned. Get him! I know those are supposed to be his like fuck teeth, but it looks like he has a little name badge. <laughs> Hi, I'm Deadly Mouse. 
Mickey Mouse is just a cousin, Deadly Mouse. <laughs> he fought during the war. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is pretty gross. Careful. I see those shark fins. Well, it even has a rather satisfying slush as you walk through it. Yeah, it also, it's also neck deep. Can you climb out anywhere? No, only at... No. Only at designated points. Yeah. I would climb out if I were you, and go down there on the, well, whatever. F that S. Yeah, yeah. See if you can pick up the barrel. This is not what we needed at all. It's a f filthy attack roach. <laughs> <laughs> it started a continuous attack which did two hit points worth of damage. I love this, d this dungeon. I feel like we should have been here earlier or something. Yeah. Wait, maybe that's why that last dungeon was so hard, because we skipped like three on the way there. I don't know whether it's good or bad game design that we were even able to do that and, and continue playing. I find it weird that we were able to just, like, skip over whole sections of the story. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Do you think we missed entire dungeons, or do you think we just needed to... Like, see, there it is. This dungeon was nothing. We must have done all of, all of this quest and then... Yeah, I just like skipped you know. over the last little bit of it. Yeah. Wait, this is the boss? No, this is a, a, an enemy that was right next to the boss. Oh. I just wanna take care of it so we wouldn't have to fight him afterward. Like, you know, if we, if we were in bad shape or whatever. Mm. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm not worried at all about this. Yeah, this is gonna be a... I'm going into this with the haughtiest possible... <laughs> ...demeanor. <laughs> hey there, yeah. play grad. What's up? I see it too. What's cracking, man? How you doing? How's that? Uh... Why so serious? <laughs> oh. He says. You, you just went for it. Okay. I get. I guess I can make peace with that. Well, that went well. Offense. I don't know what any of those numbers mean. Me neither. I'm gonna set him on fire. I'm gonna give him the hottest fire available. And then I'm gonna throw a snake at him. <laughs> Take that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> snake versus rat. The ultimate battle. <laughs> I feel like that's something we could graph. Like, we we somehow compare the battle skills of snake and rat, and as we increase the size of the rat, <laughs> we uh, there's a, a a curve that approaches the battle skill of the snake and eventually surpasses it. Just and all yeah. is stomp on the snake. Yeah. I don't know, rat's pretty ferocious, you know? Yeah, there's like mock pieces that can fight snakes in there. Even poisonous snakes. Mongo is mongoose a rodent? Or is it like a so. mar marsupial or something? It might be know. a mustelid. Like, is that like a ferret? Yeah, like ferrets and weasels and skunks and stuff are all mustelids. Yeah. It was in the backyard of this building. It was protected by, like, an eight-foot-high fence. <laughs> if we brought a rope or, like, a heavy sledgehammer, we could have just busted through. Also, from the look of it, that fence is razor-thin. 
You probably just could have walked right through it, you know? <laughs> Don't touch the top, it'll slice you in half. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'm so... A carrot key! Well, no shit! <laughs> well, slap my ass and call me Mabel. A carrot key! I ain't calling you Mabel no more on account of you done abused your privileges. Yeah, keep it moving. Gross bugs. So I bought a car today. Ooh, you, you, wow. Straight up just went and bought one? I bought the first car, no, the second car I drove. Damn. But I only went to one dealership. They gave me a great deal on it. Nice. It's a, it's a blue... Ford Fiesta. Nice. Yeah. You are now well equipped to, uh, hey guys. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, what, well, we're not doing nothing. Uh, oh. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey these rats to say. <laughs> yeah, uh. They're doing uh, the uh, hustle. Uh. <laughs> this will never get old. It's old. <laughs> Alright, let's go beat him to death. Yeah, that's right, you hey, better uh, run. Hey! What's through that door? I don't know. It's about to be a bunch of rat corpses. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I got a great deal on the that board. Because I kept... I kept telling them that this was the first place I've been today and that I wanted a price that I could, you know, take to the other dealers and and say, hey, look at the price these guys gave me. Yeah. And because I, I you know, I, I think I, they eventually knocked off a thousand dollars and, uh, I don't know. I final price was something like like 16500 huh somewhere around there well good did you take it for yeah. a test drive oh yeah was it good yeah mm. I, I i test drove that uh a hatchback and the sedan and i also test drove a uh, uh focus but i chose the sedan which is the second one I drove. It's kind of lame because I, I I wrote out all these like dealerships and did like, hours of research on all the you know the best deals on cars. Yeah. And uh, I ended up buying like the one of the first dealership I I went to. It took me like seven hours to complete the transaction too. Yeah, that's that's just like you have to go down to like the the DMV or whatever and do like the title transfer or whatever shit no I didn't, they, they do all that there it just took seven hours yeah you know to go through all the paperwork and a lot of waiting around while he goes and like like checks on things yeah get like paperwork notarized and run off fresh copies get it all entered into the yeah. system but uh I, I was also planning on driving a, a Dodge Dart and a uh, Mazda 3, but didn't even go to the other, because they offered me a great deal, and it was kind of, I mean, it was like, okay, well, I eventually just, you know, they sold it. Yeah. But I like it. I like that car. It's a good car. I didn't even know the Fiesta came in a, uh, a sedan version. <laughs> But now I do. Wait, you thought you thought they were all hatchbacks? Yeah, I mean, I only think that because that's the only version they ever did on Top Gear. Hmm. It's uh like bright screaming blue. Yeah. I like tit fuck blue. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's a that's a powerful blue. Yeah, that's what it said on the car and on the side. They had the, the, the class to call it TF Blue. We all know what it meant. <laughs> um, it has, uh, like, 
Bluetooth support in it, so you can, like, synchronize your phone with it, and that, like, I don't even want to go into that. I can't even figure out how to work the freaking radio. It's so complicated. <laughs> You've pre prematurely become an old man. The key has, like, a microchip in it, so y you can't just get a key made. Yeah, they cost you have like to like. Bucks. It's like, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. I, I don't even want that. I just want a regular car key. A piece of steel with, like, grooves on it <laughs> that I can put in a hole and turn. I don't want, like, a remote that opens my car. Is it one of the ones that does it even go in, like, a slot on the, uh, on the, 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 get the, the <sighs> steering wheel stock? Oh, or is yeah, it, or I mean, just, like, if, have it near you in the car. It has all the function of a regular key. It just, you know, you to can cost like $300. You start the, you unlock the doors and start the car by putting it in a slot. Yeah. But it also has, uh, as a microchip on the end, and the, like, part that you hold has buttons on it. And that's the thing I don't like, because when things have buttons on them like that, I tend to just press those buttons without knowing it. Yeah. Just gonna set that car alarm off seven or eight hundred times. Also, it's really big for a car key. Yeah. It's got this huge remote on it. Or, can you not... It's like, I don't... I don't want to put that in my pocket. I yeah. want to just put a regular key in my pocket. Does your car have that? Oh, no. Uh, no, I have a key in a, a separate remote. If they just want to sit next to each other on the keychain. Does your car have a... Uh... Microchip that... Contacts with something when you put the key in a slot so it won't start up unless you... That sort of mess. Uh, yeah, that. I think so. I think I think most modern keys do because otherwise it's like it's like straight up you'd go to the hardware store and make a new key that would fit it, and you know a car costs you know many thousands of dollars. So, but why why wouldn't you want that capability? Well, because you don't want car thieves to have that capability. Like when is a car if a car thief has your car keys? <laughs> like, why would he need to make copies of them? But like, what? Well, before... if you could do it with like a bump key or something, that would not be good. Well, I feel like any car thief worth his salt would also be able to, you know, copy whatever RIF signal is allowing you to interface with your ignition. Damn it! Hey, four sides of. Is that radio interlace frequency? Uh, it's RFID. It's a radio frequency oh, RFI. identification. Yeah, that. Yeah. Zoom. Hey, everybody. But on the whole, I like the car. I I wish the uh, I wish it idled a little faster. And I wish, uh, the accelerator had a little more range to it. Like, I had to, you know, it, it, it speeds up a little fast. Right, like, you get, you get to get to full power a little faster than you wanted to. Yeah, and I think that will go down over time. Like, as the car, as I wear the car in, that will, that will become less of an issue. Yeah. But, and, and I think I can have the shop adjust the, uh, speed at which it idles. Hmm. Wait, what? You know, just when you have it in drive, and, uh, and you're not pressing down the gas how fast it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it goes kind of slow now, especially in reverse. Um, so I, I, I don't know, whenever I take it to the shop, I'll, I might have them... Have them adjust the throttle a little bit. Yeah, you... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can adjust that stuff. Yeah. The Jetta was great about that. It it, it it would go... It would speed up pretty pretty well when you weren't even pressing the gas. Yeah. 
and you can back up without pressing the gas at all, sort of thing. Yeah. And I like that. It's just a matter of, like, modulating the brake. Yeah. Uh... <sighs> We've already been through this, fella. Yep. Let's just... Come on, just... I'm just... I'm just hitting the L button so... I just... <sighs> So many L's. La 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 cobra. Uh, thanks, lady. <laughs> Peace. Uh, how's it going? How long have we been doing this, by the way? Uh, probably r right around, probably a little over 30 minutes, let's see. Uh, 37 minutes. So let's find a stopping place. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can find out where we're supposed to go. For Christ's sake! <laughs> this is, this is the rest of I hope he's the boss. <laughs> I hope this dude's just r running out in the role of film or something, god damn. <laughs> It's like, dude, just take three shots here. Let's go. <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. You don't really need to use every... every piece. Just go ahead and rewind the thing. <laughs> what? Uh, thanks. What? Did you ever... ever have a film... camera? Oh yeah, I, I, when we were in high school, I had, I had uh, my my folks old uh, Minolta SRT. Oh, that's right. That I shot tons you, of you, with. You were you were kind of into that in high school. I forgot about that. Just enough to not want to spend any money though. Mm -hmm. It was kind of fun to take pictures with a <coughs> with manual everything. Do you still have that camera? Uh, I think my folks do. It's, it's a really, it's a, like, as film cameras go, it's a damn nice film camera. Yeah. I have a couple of, uh, uh, Nico Mats. They're pretty good cameras. They're all manual. They don't even have, uh, light meters on them. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. So you have to either, you like, have to get a, just guess. You have to get a separate light meter, or, yeah. yeah, or just be good at it, which I am not. So, you have to get a separate, uh, uh, there's a name for it, like a lu lumino luminometer, I don't know. Luminometer or something like that? It's not that. Oh. That's, but it's, it's, there's a name for it. The thing where you, you read the light level, and then adjust your f-stop accordingly. Yeah. Oh, that's what this carrot key is for. I will use the carrot key. Use the carrot key. How strange! The rabbits and the carrot disappeared all at once. That's not what. Uh, hey, what's up, dude? Yo, ball of light. <laughs> Whoa, thunder <laughs> might. Uh, just, dude, you got you got something something flopping out. I just, uh, just zip that up. <laughs> Looks like he has a, a yellow tapeworm hanging out of his butt. <laughs> Dude. Thunder Mike, you got some worms, yo. Uh oh. I punched it twice and it died. Huh. I like this part of the game. Me too. Now, if only we... we if we didn't have to move the character around. And we could just automate that part, too. I wish this game were just a... Oh. <laughs> Jesus. There's an a That's just a tapeworm. There we go. <laughs> that thing came out of the other thing's butt. I'm scared. It's called a Tengu. Kind of, he's got his little flute. He just, he just wants to play it on <laughs> song. Excuse me. Play on, Tangu. Play on. Ouch. Look at 
There's a bunch of platinum records flying by in the background. A bunch of mm -hmm. Dr. Dre albums. What, what was that noise? What noise? You went like... <clears throat> oh, it's because I was yawning at the same time that you said that, and I, I couldn't help but laugh and yawn at the same time. You yuckled. Yeah. I lawned. <laughs> Uh... Go in the second hole. Yeah! You know I always go for the second hole, you know what I'm saying? Damn it. No! Why don't you expound on that? Uh... How about I kill these dudes first? On that, I think we can all agree. <coughs> it's a conducting menace. Burn him. The, uh, uh, Tangu with his flute can't survive without the conducting menace. <laughs> can't keep a beat. Yeah. God help us if they discover the metronome. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, eventually encounter a whole symphony of nefariousness. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm pretty that disturbed by just about everything here. Some death. Fantastic. Aw, oh, man. Kiss is part of this orchestra? <laughs> Sick. This, this is gonna be the greatest musical masterpiece of all time. Are we in On It, Rock City? <laughs> yes. Yeah, take it. Ugh. This part of the game is doing a number on my left index finger, because I just keep hitting L to- Oh! Yet yeah, again. Yeah. Sounds good. Great. Let's do it. Not worried. Thunder yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I really like this this uh, sprite though. This is actually the coolest looking uh, boss I think we fought. I like your style. Kill the one. Kill the yellow one first. That's racist. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, they're just one dude. Yeah. Okay. So they're vulnerable to Psy Flash. Which That'd I would be not cool use. if there were two dudes, though. Yeah. If there were two dudes and, uh. You know, you, you wouldn't necessarily think it was first right off. Of course, I guess all RPGs do that when you have an enemy with. Like, you have to attack the torso and the legs. Yeah, you get, get the Lavos like or whatever, and it's like Lavos and also a bit. Well, uh, in, in, uh, uh, Chrono Trigger, when you fought Lavos, he had, like, robots yeah. just next to him. I'm talking about, like, when you have to find an enemy and, or maybe the arms are, like, an enemy in itself. Yeah. And you have to, or each, you have to attack each hand, like in Ocarina of Time, when there's that, that's not an RPG, but yeah, you know what right. I mean. You have to, uh, attack the hands, and then when you hit the hands enough, the thing falls down onto the bongo drum, and you run up to it and hit it with your sword yeah. in the eye. Like that. Only in, in the manner of an RPG. Yeah, you gotta get that slingshot out and bust a couple of shots off. That was... that was stupid, that battle. Oh! If I've ever seen a pink cloud, I've seen one now. I think this pink cloud has a butthole, or possibly a nipple. And it's freaking me out. Is, it, is there a way to, to get with this cloud? Not <laughs> a short... just a little vision. Yeah. You know, nothing special. A little, little glimpse. Yeah, what a peek. Oh. 
We have them. Go to the center. We're ready. Great. Are you are you in control right now? No. This is all happening uh, autonomously. It's just showing us what we what we got. Are so there are no side quests, I guess? There were a couple along the way. It was mostly minor fetch stuff. Yeah. <coughs> How's your frame rate doing there, Lars? <laughs> yeah. Just waddle on up there, Lars. You'll make it. <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> Lars, speak to me, son. Your V-Sync is all over the place. <laughs> Somebody de that child. <laughs> he's covered in comp oh, he's covered in compression artifacts. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, now he's just vanished entirely. <laughs> Carl, you fool. Oh god, this house is covered in texture pop in. <laughs> no, no, my sister's textures. What? This is a, a very binary rocking crib. <laughs> it rocks when she sits. It snaps violently from one side to the other. <laughs> it's like a baby in a metronome. Mars? Hmm? I think we should call it. He, I mean, you want to pause with, without going through this next text cycle? Yeah. Let's, let's leave it here. Okay. I also kind of like this music, yeah. so I think we should go out on this music. I have a feeling next time we're going to fight Guy Gas, so... So, uh, maybe that's it. Maybe we should plan a, uh, a whole, like, event next time, and we'll make it all solemn and interesting, I guess. <coughs> Hopefully by Unlike then I'll have stopped coughing. Episode. Bye, yeah, everybody. Right. This is episode 40. Oh, I guess that's it, then. Yep. So, yeah. Next time, 41. The final episode. You just jinxed it. <laughs>